Hey guys, Ben and Rebecca of His and Hers Alaska, and we are on an epic road trip again. Seven months in our RV around the western uh, United States having adventures, and we bought a GoPro Karma. Right now, I'm feeling like I've been sucker punched in the gut. Yes, the Karma is on recall, but today I was trying to fix a problem with the gimbal and I thought I'd sync it up to the internet. And by doing so, GoPro's big brother software update comes in and just kills the Karma. Like, can't use it anymore. And I was able to use it prior to this well, you know, yeah, it was under recall, but I was being very conservative, flying it safely, because we're on this road trip and we're visiting all these amazing places and we just had to have a drone. We looked at a lot of the options out on the market. We well, did... Rebecca also lost our drone a couple years ago <laughs> while flying over glaciers. So we just got to throw that one out. So Right. Yeah. My worst fear right. with the drone realized. Yeah, right. We're flying it over water. Here goes nothing. Oh god, Ben, be careful. Incoming! I'm gonna get to use my filter soap for a while. <laughs> one of us finally got the go-ahead from the other one to get a new drone. When we saw Casey Neistat's video about the Karma and the Mavic. Yep. And these are like compact drones, perfect for us traveling in our 32-foot motorhome. And we definitely considered the Mavic, but the reasons that we ended up going with the GoPro was because of kind of the multifaceted aspect of it all in one. You have your GoPro, you have the grip, which is like a gimbal for the GoPro, and then you have the drone. So really it was like a three-in-one yeah. purchase. And it just seemed like a really good fit for what we wanted to do. I'm going to segue into what we now like about the GoPro Karma because we've had it for a solid three weeks now and have had some amazing experiences and captured amazing footage with it. Number one is the size of the drone and the case. Uh, the fact that it comes in a case molded for the drone, it's just was a perfect fit. The other thing that I really like about it, I didn't really enjoy flying the DJI as much. This one is really easy to fly and it has its standalone controller so you're not using your phone. This one has all the fail safe features mm -hmm. which also leads into the way Big Brother screwed us. But you know it tells you like when to start, when you got your GPS. So all those fail safe features are nice but they do come at a price guys. Now on to what we don't like. Uh, the way GoPro rolled this out was very disappointing. The lack of knowledge at customer service. Now, we called for some technical support, and they were fantastic. Yeah, that goes to a whole different call center. We got personal emails yes, back from them. The they're whole awesome. But, but general customer support. Horrible. It horrible. didn't matter who you talked to. They had a different story. None of them matched up. They didn't know what they were talking about. They didn't know the products. Mm -mm. Horrible they told embarrassment. They you to buy a five with a four harness, and they'd match up, and yeah. they don't. It was a mess. Luckily, we didn't let it deter us from purchasing one because it really has been an enjoyable product to use. Oh, I love this thing, and that is why I have been reluctant to turn it in. Aside from the fact that well, we just spent desert. three weeks in the desert, like hundreds of miles away from a Best Buy, and we're now in Vegas, so there is a Best Buy here, and I guess. This yeah, thing's not going to take up space in the motorhome if I can't use it because space is a premium. Very early on, within the second day, we decide we're going to use it to video while we're driving so you don't get the vibrations yeah. from the driving. Again, incredible footage, but about halfway to our next destination, the gimbal failed. Yeah, it locked up into USB mode, so every time you slid the camera in and powered up the grip, it gave you that little USB symbol. And, and video. they said they've never heard of that problem before. So we were then going kind of off the grid into a location without cell phone service and data. 
And we came out and that's when it had been recalled. It had been recalled. So they <laughs> said, uh, fixing your karma grip is kind of a mute point right now because the whole thing is recalled. It's been an amazing addition to our YouTube videos and we're in all these amazing locations. So we're not going to get into showing you the drone and all the features. There's plenty of other people that have made videos about that, but this is just a blunt, honest review of the product and our experiences. So I'd like to encourage you guys to subscribe to our channel and follow our adventures and hopefully we're able to figure out some way of continuing to get drone footage in our videos without having to buy a cumbersome drone. Yeah, because the Mavic's not available right Yeah, now. Mavic's not available. So, but we're gonna close this out with a nice montage of some of the epic drone footage we've collected over the past few weeks. Mm -hmm.